Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Megan. I'm not Megan, I'm Miss Megan Robinson. <music> Mac sent me the new Mac Powder Kiss liquid lip colors and powder kiss eyeshadows so i'm going to do a look with those and talk to you a little bit about the product i am super this stuff is the bomb like mm, perfection if you don't know who i am i am miss megan robinson welcome uh and if you want to see how i got this powder kiss look keep on watching okay so i've already prepped my eyes with 24 hour eye base as you know i'm going to go right into the shadows so the formula of these powder kiss shadows it's super super velvety it's almost like when you put it on there's like a filter that's over your eyes um and we love that so i'm going to go in with best of me which is a really soft like off white and i'm just going to use a 224 and i'm going to sweep this all over my eyelid they also if you suck at doing eyeshadow um this will greatly assist you because they blend really well they're very forgiving as you can see i don't have my sparkly background because i honestly don't know if i like it so back to the drawing board with that like it's cute but i i kind of like this so there's a lot of colors there's like warm and cool so there's you know pinks and reds we have oranges and warm neutrals and then we got these guys so there's stuff for everybody they also come in pro palette form that's the best so you can customize your own palette and make your own colors favorite one right now is what clout so this is like an ochre color brownie ochre um, and I'm going to take this right through my whole crease. How have you guys been? It's been a hot minute since I've been, since I've done a tutorial. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a try on when I got the PR kit of all the liquid lips. I think I have all but like three. Um, so I tried each one on one after the other. Um, on Instagram. So that's on IGTV right now. You should definitely follow me over there if you don't. Um, I literally, I post constantly all day, every day. You will literally know everything that goes on in my life, everything I buy, everything I eat. Like I'm that person. Um, everything that bothers me. So like they just, they blend like butter. It's a great formula. I'm going to take an old brush. This is the 222. And I'm going to take a little bit of Best of Me. So Best of Me originally was a lipstick um, that was super, super light. It was a great mixing shade for fair tone, like fair skin tones. Um, so some of these colors are brand new and some of them are based off the lipstick. Um, so now, like for instance, Devoted to Chili. Uh, Devoted to Chili, which is this one here, has a lipstick, a liquid lip color, and now an eyeshadow. So if you're into like monochromatic looks, this is for you. So I just like to soften that edge. 219, I'm going to go back in with What Clout. And you don't need a lot of product either. A lot picks up on the brush, which is great. Also, if you can hear my AC in the background, I'm sorry, I have to keep it on. The humidity in Toronto right now is astronomical. So I'm gonna focus this just on the outside corner or outside third. I'm just gonna buff that out with the 222. If you haven't seen, Kayla and I have a new series on both of our channels called Makeup and Mukbangs. So the first episode is on my channel and episode two will go up on her channel, which we're going to film, which by the time you see this, we've already filmed it. So we're very excited about this. Um, if you like makeup, if you like learning how to do makeup, if you like eating if you like vlogs like we're trying to cover a lot of different things but that's if you haven't watched that that is my previous video which i'd love if you went and checked it out go into strike a pose which is like a really soft shell peach very very pretty and i'm gonna pick it up on a 221 so a little bit of a smaller blending brush and let's throw that 
in the crease as well, but I'm going a little bit lower on the lid. I'm honestly not used to working with just matte eyeshadows. I'm like always putting glitter on things. So it makes my brain work a little bit differently. Okay, let's take this sexy color called So Hot Right Now, and I'm gonna take it on the 221 as well. And I'm just gonna pick up like a really, really tiny amount of it. I'm gonna darken like they just melt into each other. And I'm just gonna darken that crease a little bit. When in doubt, blend it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of that first shade and just go right over top. Next shade I'm gonna go in with is Devoted to Chili, 219. And I'm going to really lightly press that along the lower outer V. And take that 221 and just buff it around. Give me like a little bit of a peak of color, but nothing too overpowering. Next time we go in with Strike a Pose again. And I'm gonna just buff over top of what I just put down. Yeah, like velvet, velvet. There's no skipping either sometimes. When I work with matte shadows in the crease, when I get here, um, my skin gathers and the brush skips so you get lines. But with this one, you don't. So on that 224, I'm gonna take What Clout and Best of Me and I'm gonna just go back and forth and mix them like pink and just tap that on the eye. Yeah, that's what I want. So it's just not, I don't know if that picks up the same on camera, but so it's not white, white. Ooh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna go back into So Hot right now and just buff this out. Like I'm barely touching the eye and they just like, they just go on. The color is just so, so soft, it's so pretty. Give a Glam Powder Kiss Eyeshadow is literally, I think, the sexiest eyeshadow color I have ever come across. Why? Because it's a sexy, cocoa, dark chocolate brown. I can't explain it to you. It's beautiful. To use this as a liner, if you have darker hair, to use it in your brows, to create a really sexy, smoky eye. Like, it is a sexy ass brown. It's definitely one of my top eyeshadows ever of all time. My favorite 212, I'm gonna just pick some of it up and I'm gonna protect my concealer. Oh my God, you're fucking joking. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna draw in a bit of a smoky liner. It's just so pretty. I also, because I like um, coffee eyeliner so much, this is like the equivalent in an eyeshadow. And I love a good shadow liner, so it's fitting. But guys, wait until you freaking see these liquid lips. So I've played with them for quite a few days now. I've worn them in different ways. They're game changing. I'm going to take that 219 with a little bit of Give a Glam on it. And I just want to smudge right across. I normally, if I was going to do this look IRL, um, I would have done my eyes first. I would have like gone ham with this, but I really, I'm like living for my skin and my hair right now. And I really just don't want anything to screw up the eye a little bit and I'm gonna just stamp it right on the outer third as well and just blending with that 219 just keep adding more as I see fit every time you place a color down just give her a little buff 
I feel like I want to pop the devoted to chili a bit more. So right in that corner where kind of all the colors meet, I'm placing a little bit more devoted to chili. I'm gonna go in with that 222. You could use a 217, just all my 217s are dirty. I'm gonna just buff with a little bit of So Hot right now. And I'm covering the outer third a bit more. And back on our 212 with Give a Glam, we're just gonna keep packing the color until we're happy. If you know like the intensity that you like right away when you you see these colors go to town just place them blend them out where that's just not that's just not something that i do we're going to mix again so this time i'm going to take best of me and strike a pose and we're going to lighten that lid and then I'm going to take a mixture of Give a Glam and Devoted to Chili. And I'm just going to stamp that in a little bit more. So I'm going in with Extended Play Permia Blush. <gasps> these colors are so pretty. The blend that you get on these, like, I don't even think I'm actually this good at blending. Like, it's the shadow. I go live sometimes on the MAC Cosmetics Canada Instagram handle, so you can see me talk about, you know, skin. I did bronzing once. We just did how to apply glitter. Um, Kayla and I tend to go live together on there, uh, so you can definitely check that out. You'll find out about everything that I'm doing on Instagram first before it's on YouTube. So it's a great way to stay in touch. And it posts right after on their IGTV. So even if you couldn't catch it live and watch it with us, um, you can check it out after and you can ask us any questions that you have. Since my bronzing video, I've used all of this Fix Plus. I actually bought it back up because I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to drench my skin in this because we're going to use a powder kiss lip on the cheek. Now I'm unsure with the powder kiss formula if I had just gone in on my like set skin if it would pull but like we don't want to risk that and I love fix plus so why not. Let's let that dry. Now I can see I always laughed at people that had fans. I don't know why I would laugh at them because here I am using a mirror. Laugh at me. The first powder kiss I'm showing you is called Sorry Not Sorry. Um, it is a like dirty pumpkin orange and that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna use this as blush. So I'm gonna take off quite a bit and I'm gonna go in with a 170 brush for packing. I'm gonna push it right into the brush and I'm going to start working it all on the apples of my cheeks. Can we just for a moment texture 10 out of 10 smell 10 out of 10 color. Absolutely. And I was just talking like with um, my friends and stuff about, you know, not having, was I talking to my friends? I was talking to myself um, about not liking the current blush colors that I have. And then this came along. So we did this in the live together. So I'm going to pack quite a bit on. And then I'm just going to take whatever your foundation brush is and just push that into the skin. Stunning. I put my highlight with soft and gentle. And I'm just going to use a 168, but I'm going to use the long end. And I'm just going to bump that up. It's been, I literally just got this. It's brand new. It's my first time using it. Um, I haven't worn soft and gentle in a hundred years. Don't know why I stopped. Still a classic, still so great. Like I'm... I'm living. Let's go above the lip. This combo of soft and gentle with sorry, not sorry is 
beautiful. Okay, so here are some of the deeper and pinkier colors here. I'm gonna swatch on my hand my favorites and I'm probably just gonna put a nude on. The one that really got me is called Got A Callback, which is like a smoky, mauvey purple. If you have green, like this would even look great with this. If you have green eyes, hazel eyes, stunning. We have Over The Taupe. So this one has been very, very, very popular. Um, it's more of like a brownie mauve and you can wear powder kisses as like you put a little bit, you rub your lip together, you get a stained look, or you can layer it and go to town and get like a fully pigmented lip. And then for the darker colors, they'll leave a little bit of a stain when you like remove them. Um, they barely transfer like for what they are. They barely transfer. Um, I did a kiss test on the back of my hand on IGTV. You can go check that out. I did a red and I was like, how, how? I just don't know how. Speaking of red, Max Mash. This is like, this is it. This is like the red. Beautiful. And this one is Resort Season, which is a beautiful bright orange. I love that. Mm, sorry, I got excited. This one is more the merrier. This one is got a callback. It's darker. Yes. So pretty. So that's a little bit more pink. That's definitely that smoky purple I was talking about. So these are my favorites. Um, so you can see with a wipe, like there's still the lighter ones didn't stay, but you have like a little bit of color left behind the nude let's talk about date maker so date maker is the like nude nude of the collection and we need to talk about the applicator so the applicator so right now it's harder to see but the applicator is actually a hourglass shape so this whole center portion is actually filled with product um, so it curves the lip really well and you can just use the little tip to line stunning feels like a lip balm finishes like a matte satin so silky so if you're the type of person that is like I love mattes I hate lip gloss but mattes are so dry this is for you If you go, I love things that make my lips feel hydrated, but they don't last at all. This is for you. Like, look at this color. So maybe now you can see it's like a little bit more hollowed out in the center. So that just like cups to the lip really well and no liners needed. I'm a liner person, like I do love lip liner, uh, but I love how convenient, like look at the shape of my lips, like this is perfect. So just to recap, we have powder kiss eyeshadows on, a powder kiss lip, and a powder kiss cheek. So if you like cream blush, but like does cream blush even exist anymore? Hardly. Um, you can use any of the powder kisses. That's it guys, that's the look. Um, I hope you really enjoyed seeing Powder Kiss for the first time. It has been around for a hot minute, so I'm really happy that I could bring it to you. If you have any questions about how Powder Kiss works, if you literally have any questions about anything, feel free to DM me, leave a comment below. I will definitely get back to you. The next time I see you will probably be for makeup and mukbangs. So if you have not watched episode one, please take a second to check that out and follow me on Instagram at Miss Megan Robinson. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.